It's not only his dazzling green eyes and the empathy that he shows towards his guests that have helped Jorge Ramos gain the public's trust, but also that inquisitive yet respectful manner in which he gets to the bottom of his story as he interviews his guests. Fidel Castro is a dictator, no? I'm talking, please. Let me talk. Es que no me está contestando la pregunta. Pero déjeme hablar, déjeme desarrollar. The Wall Street Journal, Time Magazine, and People have described Jorge as the number one Hispanic journalist in the U.S. and one of the 25 most influential Hispanic Americans. Desde Santiago de Chile, desde Río Piedras, en Puerto Rico, desde la isla de Margarita, desde Managua, Nicaragua. He began his career in 1984 as a reporter for KMEX Channel 34, the Univision affiliate in Los Angeles. Since then, Jorge has traveled all over the world, witnessing the most important events of our times. He was in Berlin when the wall fell down, and he witnessed the disintegration of communist regimes in Eastern Europe. Jorge covered the 9-11 terrorist attacks and reported on numerous elections in Latin American countries. He has covered natural disasters and reported on the wars in El Salvador, the Persian Gulf, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Where is Osama? Where is Osama? Jorge has interviewed the world's most important leaders, including U.S. presidents, the Cuban dictator Fidel Castro, Mexican presidents such as Carlos Salinas de Gortari, Ernesto Cedillo, Vicente Fox, and Felipe Calderón, and also Venezuela's Hugo Chavez. Anyone who's somebody in the world of politics ends up on Al Punto, Jorge's Sunday morning show. When our busy anchor is not traveling, he works on his weekly column, which is published by more than 40 newspapers in the U.S. and Latin America. To top it off, he contributes regularly with Univision.com and our national radio network. Jorge has written 11 books. He is a voracious reader who is committed to improving the education of Hispanic youth. Throughout his career, Jorge has received numerous awards and recognitions. But he is most widely known, perhaps, for his commitment to immigrant rights and for voicing the views of those whose voice is not often heard. Estas son las noticias en nombre de todas las personas que hicieron posible este noticiero. Buenas noches y gracias por confiar en Univision. Gracias por acompañarnos. Buenas noches y hasta pronto.